Hello, it is Flores. Thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another exciting and informative video on our YouTube channel. If you are joining us for the first time, we want to thank you for watching. But those of you who have been following our channel, we notice we focus on informative and educating content within the African continent. Today, I want to introduce to you one of Africa's beautiful capital that is rarely talked about. Also, I will discuss this capital from the 15th century and bring it back to modern days. Also, for those of you who are planning to travel to the continent, we will encourage you to check out this beautiful capital. In this case, I'm talking about the beautiful capital of Lilongwe in Malawi. So without any more delay, let's just dive straight into it. In looking at that, Lilongwe, named after the Lilongwe River that runs through the town, became the official capital of the landlocked country of Malawi in 1975. As of 2012, Lilongwe city had an estimated population of just over 781,000 people, making it the largest city in the country. Lilongwe is located in the center of this long, narrow nation, making it the easiest way of the country's citizens to reach its opposed to the previous capital in the far south section of the country of Malawi. Lilongwe is also close to the country of Mozambique and also Zambia. Moving ahead, since becoming the capital of Malawi, Lilongwe has grown dramatically, particularly because of numerous uh, Europeans and also Southern Africans residing in the city. A number of non-governmental organizations for Southern Africans are also located in this beautiful capital. The city is also the headquarters for British and United States foreign aid workers, diplomats from dozens of nations and international corporations. Although Lilongwe is the political center of the country, Blantyre City is the southern part of the country remains the economic and commercial center of the country of Malawi. Having that in mind, Ilongwe was not the first capital of Malawi. That title belongs to Zomba. For the countries or in terms of centuries, Ilongwe was a small fishing village in the early 20th century when British colonial officials took control over the named the new colony. The Yasala, they declared Zomba to be the administrative center. So to point out, as of 1964, the country's name was changed from Yasala to Malawi when it gained its independence and Zomba remains the capital. Longtime Malawian president Hastings Banda, who ruled the nation from 1964 to 1994, moved the capital to Lilongwe in 1975, partly because of its central location but also because it's also born the nord of the city. If you are new to our channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. In moving forward, the city is divided into two sections, the old and new town. The old town is the area where the original fishing village was located and today is continuing to have the appearance of traditional African settlement with cafes, open air market and also numerous small shops and also other businesses. New town came into existence after Lilongwe became the capital and has modern buildings including the National Legislative Building, government ministries, embassies, hotels and also banks and offices around uh, this capital of Malawi. The city center has a, a natural sanctuary that cares for rescued and injured wild animals. Moving ahead, the official language of Lilongwe and the nation of Malawi is English and uh, are English and uh, Chichewa. So the point out, the country has two major religions, considering Christianity with the most Christians uh, being uh, Roman Catholic and also Presbyterian and also Islam, with most Muslims belong to the Sunni Acts. Also to the point that Malawi uh, as a country has transformed to the point out, the capital of Lilongwe has attracted businesses from around the world. It has a huge mining industry, so to point out, it's an interesting African capital. For those of you who are planning to visit, there are a number of things you could do while you find yourself in Lilongwe or in Malawi, so to point out. There are places that you could visit, for example, like the Salima. Salima is a very important place for those of you who are planning to check out uh, this uh, particular section of Malawi. The town of Salima is 22 kilometers east of the lake and also 110 kilometers, about 1 hour 20 minutes drive from Lilongwe, the capital city of Malawi. Salima is connected by uh, the M5 uh, Lakeshore Road uh, in the Chipaka. It's one of the key ports on the lake where most lake vessels stop, including the M5 Iyala. Just so you know that this is a very important place for those of you who are planning to visit. You can also go to uh, the Mongoshi. 
Mongoshi is a very interesting place uh, while in Malawi. Mongoshi was one of the most important anti-slave uh, slaving center and later a colonial administrative town. This town lies on the Shrine River and has a busy market, shops, happy atmosphere. The Lake Malawi Museum is also in the town of Mongoshi. Mongoshi was once an important anti-slaving center and later a colonial administrative town. A colonial monument to Queen Victoria stands near the modern and scenic area. Just so to point out, if you are also considering being in this area, Another very important place to check out is the Mulenje and the Tuyulu. This is a very important place for those of you planning to be in this African beautiful capital. So to point out, it's an impressive 3000 above sea level. Mount Mulenja is the highest in South Central Africa. On the southern side of the mountain lies the Great Rift Valley with a spectacular freestanding uh, eroded mountain known as the Insebex, where unique geographical features inspired and provided background of the JRR tokens. Uh, the British auto also to point out, these are some of the very important things that you're going to be seeing while you find yourself uh, near this beautiful African capital. Another very important place to check out is the Karonga. Karonga is an interesting place. For those of you who've known this area, while you're trying to travel to Malawi, further north into the historical fascinating town of the Kurunga, lies the close to the northmost point of the lake. This is an headquarters of the slave trade, the Luzi, and also the scenes of many battles. Kurunga saw the first naval action of World War II, World War I, so the point out. Two crowns is historical claims to fame. It has fossil beds which have yielded a fragment of the homeland and the jawbone roughly 2.4 million years old. So you don't want to visit this area without you checking uh, this beautiful uh, place uh, called Karonga. Another very important place is that you, want to, you don't want to leave Malawi without checking the Blantyre city. Blantyre is an amazing place for those of you who know this amazing economic hub in Malawi. Blantyre, named after the birthplace of the Scottish missionary and explorer, Dr. David Livingstone, is the commercial hub of Malawi, founded in 1876 through the missionary work of the Church of Scotland. It is one of the oldest urban centres in, in the East, Central and also South Africa and prides itself as having the longest historic and cultural heritage in the region, the tarmac roads between Blantyre and Zumba. So to point out, you don't want to leave this particular area without you checking the Likumba and the Chizumulu Island. This is a very interesting place for those of you who are trying to visit or who will be planning to visit uh, this amazing area. Perched close to Mozambique, the only two uh, inhabited islands uh, of the Lake Malawi, Likumba and Chizulu, is a fusion history, a modernity and true blend of Malawian culture. The island's rich history dates back to the late 18, uh, 1890s when early missionaries established a, a post on Likumba. To date, the Goitic Cathedral looms above the islands with a status of Peter St. Peter holding uh, also the keys to the gates of heaven. So the point out, these experience are some of the things that you're going to be finding yourself uh, in uh, this amazing uh, African area in terms of this capital. The last but not the least place that you may want to visit while you are in uh, Blantyre or in Malawi uh, looking at the Lilongwe we're talking about is in Zunzu city. Zunzu is an interesting place for those of you who will be planning to travel to Malawi. In considering that, Traveling about 360 kilometers north of Lilongwe, you come into the quiet and beautiful city of Zumzu, the biggest town in the northern region. It is the country's third largest city and known for its cool climate. The popular, also the population Zumzu coffee is proceed in tier. The tea grows here, recognized around the world, being amongst the worst, the worst, uh, finest town. So to point out, the south Zumzu city is the vampire forest, one of the largest man-made forest in Africa. If you are new to our channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. In considering this, for those of you who are planning to visit and also to check the beautiful city of Lilongwe, we want to encourage you to check out those places that we've mentioned. They might transform your experience with regards to the country of Malawi itself. Malawi is an interesting country that has transformed in recent years. The capital of Lilongwe is a beautiful place. It's attracted businesses also from around the world. And in considering its transformative aspect, this country's 
capital also being an area where in terms of uh, its capacity is shaping itself to becoming one of the most influential uh, capitals uh, within the region Malawi does have huge investment in natural resources and for those of you who are planning to travel there for holidays it's also very nice to also review some of those investment opportunities that you may find yourself in this beautiful African country and capital I want to thank you for watching the Explorer. Hopefully, we've informed you with regards to the beautiful capital of Lilongwe, Malawi, and some other interesting places for you to visit. If you've been to Malawi, we would like to hear from you. If you've traveled to Lilongwe and experienced its beauty, we would also like to know what inspired you during your time in this African capital. I want to thank you for watching the Explorer. Hopefully, we've informed you. We're looking forward to meeting you again in our next episode. We encourage you to check some of our other videos with regards to the African continent on our YouTube channel. For now, thank you very much. We have, been, have a good day. Bye-bye.